Okay, lesson 101 in boiling pasta. Bring your, pa bring your pasta water that's been seasoned with salt to a full rolling boil. And then add your pasta. Give it a little stir and let the bubbles do the work. So what I have in the house uh, for my pasta is bell peppers, I've got some spinach, and I've got some Kalamata olives, and I have some fresh tomatoes and half a lemon. So, and I do have some crushed tomatoes. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add my bell peppers and my one clove of garlic to this pot, and I'm gonna saute it. And just use whatever you've got in your fridge. Like if you've got broccoli, throw it in. If you've got zucchini or carrot, just throw it in. Doesn't really matter what it is. So I've just got onions, garlic and bell pepper. I'm just gonna saute this just slightly. The onions did caramelize a little bit first before I put the other two things in. I've turned the temperature down a bit to uh, medium heat and I'm just gonna saute this a bit till the peppers can just cook slightly, not too long. And then I'm gonna add the cream and bring it to a boil. All right, so uh, we're gonna turn this temperature up fairly high and I'm gonna be adding uh, about two cups of this heavy cream. Yes, there are ways of making a cream sauce with low fat with milk and thickening it uh, with cornstarch or with a roux. Uh, so for this, I'm going full on straight into the full cream. So I'm just gonna bring this up to a pretty good hard boil, which won't take long. And maybe I'll just turn this up a little bit more. Okay, so this is now boiling. I'm gonna turn it down a bit because I don't want it to overflow. So um, normally I add just a tiny um, speck of uh, chili flakes to any kind of a sauce that I make. Uh, I'm actually gonna add this habanero chili sauce that a good friend of mine, JC, made. And um, it is hot! But as you can see, I only put in like about an eighth of a teaspoon. Uh, so you won't probably won't really notice that it's there, but you may notice a little sparkle and guess what? That's what it is. So I'm just going to be perfectly honest with you, with you. I'm preparing some dinner in advance. My daughter's not going to be here for another hour. So um, I've got this, this is the, the starting of the sauce and I technically can leave it here um, just on very low just to stay warm. Uh, for like an hour, it's no problem. I didn't really reduce it down that much, uh, maybe by about one quarter. Um, but when it gets closer to dinner time, then I'm just going to uh, bring it back up to a simmer and I'm gonna add in the final ingredients, which is the pre-cooked pasta noodles, which are al dente right now. So they'll soften up a little tiny bit more in the hot sauce. And then I'll just add in my garnishing vegetables. So like I said before, I'm just cleaning out my fridge right now to make this pasta. And all I actually have is spinach, tomatoes, some olives, some broccoli, and I did have half of a little jalapeno pepper, which I'm going to be adding to this cream sauce that has onions, garlic, and red bell pepper. So we're 15 minutes from showtime here, so I just added my, I'm just uh, putting my cream sauce back on the pot here, and I uh, just added in my vegetables, and as soon as this comes up to a simmer, then all of these things, which are very quick cooking, because I've got very tiny florets, as you can see, uh, as soon as uh, that comes up to a simmer, which won't be long, then I'm going to add the pre-cooked uh, pasta shells, which are a little slightly undercooked. Um, they're pretty al dente, but the hot cream sauce will also um, soften them up a bit. And I saved a little bit of the pasta water here um, so that I can also add it to there if I need a little bit more liquid. So remember, I only used about two cups of the whipped cream. So it's not a lot of sauce in here right now, um, but the spinach is going to wilt and give off a bit of water. And as these vegetables are cooking a little bit, there'll be a little bit of water released as well as from the tomatoes. But I'm not really cooking this for very long. I'm really just getting it hot. Now I'm going to add the pasta noodles back in. Okay, so the noodly nudes are in, and it's just started. The sauce is just starting to heat up. I can hear it just starting to simmer under there. You can see some little bubbles in the bottom there. So this is going to be pretty quick. Really all we're doing is just heating everything through. 
So we did this quite in advance. We did this in a couple of stages where we cooked the noodles ahead of time. Uh, we cooked down, we caramelized the onions and reduced the cream by a little bit, not quite half. And then we just left it until it was closer to eating time. And then basically you execute it when you're ready. So by the time this is warm all the way through, so we want the broccoli just to start getting a little bit darker in color and that's when you know that you're just about ready. So um, I'm gonna add a little bit of this pasta water now. There's lots of flavor in this pasta water. That's why people do it. Because it does, uh, does contribute the flavor. So yeah, I kinda wanna keep this loose. I don't want it to be glomming up. I made a taste and I just added a bit more salt and pepper. Um, the broccoli is just starting to turn green. I just turned it down because I don't want it to overcook the broccoli and the spinach has just started to wilt. So I've just turned this right down. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more just to hold. And I'm just gonna also add a tablespoon or two of this pureed tomato that I had in the fridge. It's gonna cut through that cream a little bit. It's gonna give it a little bit more depth of body and flavor. And also, I kinda of just wanna use it up because it's in my fridge. So um, this is kinda of now made this like a rosé, but it's still really mostly a cream sauce um, that has just a hint of pink in there. Uh, and if you wanted to, I mean, there's, a, there's some little thin slices of jalapeno peppers that you can see in there. Those are gonna be a nice little crunch. So um, that's going to give like a little surprise flavor to it. I'm just going to taste it one more time. Oh, that's great. It's super fresh and delicious. The um, bell peppers are still a little tiny bit crunchy. And the broccoli, it's still, it's still al dente. It's still actually quite firm. They're only just starting to uh, get a little bit dark. So this is actually a perfect consistency for holding. And... Even if I held it here for half an hour, when there's almost zero temperature, it was very, very low. You could always, and it started to like get quite thick and the pasta started absorbing that little bit of sauce there. You can just add a little bit more of that pasta water and it'll loosen the sauce back up again. So like, or say if you're eating and then when people wanted to have seconds, if it seemed like it was, it's missing that sexy sauciness, just add a little bit of that warm pasta water back into this and it just brings it right back to that very light creamy texture. So anyway, I hope you guys uh, are able to clean out your fridge um, and I hope that you enjoyed this little cooking tutorial. Your final comment I just wanted to say is I really like to uh, finish off this type of a dish with just a good quality olive oil just to bring in just a little bit of that richness. Um, it just really does make all the world of difference. So I just wanted to, to put that out there. You might want to just finish with just a little drizzle of olive oil or just a tiny little bit, a couple little nibs of butter just to give it that that real richness that only comes from fat. So I just want I just wanted to show you that by holding this at a very low heat, I'm just gonna show you like what the temperature is in here. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea. This is not scorching hot. It is warm. It will not burn your mouth, but when you put it in your mouth, you're gonna, it is gonna be warm and comforting. So this is only 140 degrees. By the time I serve it, it might be, you know, around close to 150. And that's a totally acceptable temperature for you to be serving your pasta at. And none of it is overcooking. The broccoli is staying crunchy.